All right, folks, as you can see here on the fish reveal, you can see how it is, it is very defined on this ledge. Now, if you look at the Navionics, it's not nearly as defined as it is on, Chad, quit catching drunk, grunts. It's not nearly as defined as it is on the uh, fish reveal. So, and we're sitting on this ledge and we've we just started fishing. We have a minor today from 11.06 to 12.06, so I'm hoping that it will go off. Like I said, we've got that front coming in. It's relatively pretty calm out here. I'm just glad we have a little bit of a chop because I don't like it when it's smooth, smooth, smooth. The fish don't seem to like it very much. So we're gonna sit on this area a little bit, see we've never fished here before. I did those two marks uh, are just brand new marks of mine. That 5993 mark is a mark that was gifted to us so I just kind of came out here because we haven't fished in this area before so we're gonna give it a shot and see what we can do well folks we're again out here trying some something different everybody's using something different I'm using a, a light quarter ounce huggy I might even go to the slacker because the tides kind of deadish and uh, Chad is using his huggy with uh, shrimp with the stinky pinky yeah, right now I got me one of these so dry, it's like a shrimp chip. <laughs> shrimp chip. <laughs> but typically, what well, again, what we like to use, we get this question a lot because there's a lot of new viewers that are coming to the show. We like to use 20 pound leader, 10 pound braid. No matter if it's on our big rod or our small rod, uh, that's what we like to use. I don't like to go too much higher than 20 pound leader. Yes, we'll get broken off, but at the same time, we catch a lot more fish. So if you like your light tackle stuff, this is the way to do it. Now, if you're targeting monsters, you can still get away with it. A couple of videos ago, uh, I put out there where my buddy Eli and I went out into some deeper water and I caught a really big red grouper on 20 pound leader. He didn't put one keeper red grouper in the box and that's because he was using heavier leader. So that does make a difference, even in deep water. When that water gets really, really clear, those fish are going to see it. Bubble gum. Bubble gum. Ooh, get him, Chad. What do you got, Tony? Your grouper. back here with big rod. <laughs> we need to shrimp up slacker. Slacker jig doing the job again, folks. That's what I put on. Chad likes to put it out and free line it. I like to I like to actually fish it. I like to fish it. I like to move it, move it. Only you don't move it. Don't move it. Oh I moved it. Didn't you see that video? <laughs> The on, bro. Oh, <laughs> <that was> <laughs> <laughs> oh lordy. That's funny. Hey Tony, how'd he do it? Oh my goodness, bro. That whole damn point. <laughs> <laughs> you boy, you gotta have to break up like this. You gotta have to drink up like this. You gotta get the little slope to drink up. <laughs> this is how it started out. <laughs> oh lord. <laughs> Thanks to my friend John Bull for uh, videoing that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, if you can't have fun, you're not living life right. Oh, man. Ooh, my hurts. <laughs> <laughs> chat, 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 chat. Folks, that's why you don't fish with two poles. <laughs> Woo! Oh, he's going for that rock. He's turning. Bubble gum. I need to bubble gum on that one. Come on, Chad. Not even bubble gum on. Oh, oh. Come on, Sean. Come on. Yeah. Show me something! God! Oh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> you get my pull out. Woo! That's ugly. 
That is ugly. I have all the confidence in the world in you, Chad. Glad you do. <laughs> Go first recording. Think it's not digging as much. Nope. It's <laughs> That's a red, isn't it? Yeah. No. Yes. Keep a red. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so he wasn't digging as much as. Okay. Was not digging as much as that guy. Nice one. What's that? That's yeah. a scamp. Yeah, 15? Yeah, 15. That ain't gonna make 15 more. You can measure them. Yeah, it's gonna be about You wanna do a side to side, Tony? Mm -hmm. You know what else you can see? Another bag of these hog scrimps coming out of the freezer. Because <laughs> that was my last piece. Uh oh. Shrimp. Rock shrimp. Uh oh. If he doesn't mess it up. Look at it. I'm wondering if he got eight. I can't tell. That, I mean, it almost looks like a shark. Can you see how it's screech, screeching across the screen? Folks, one of the main... Pull the hook? Yeah. I mean, I felt something, but it just, it just all of a sudden was gone. One of the main things you want to do when you're hog fishing is you want to keep that bait right on the bottom. Because those hogfish like to come up and when they eat, they stand on their heads and they, they root into that ground. So I'm trying to get a new jig developed that will stand that shrimp up even more and give them a better opportunity to eat it. But that's the main thing is you want to keep it, you don't want to bounce it, you don't. You just want to keep it right on the bottom. Every once in a while you want to lift it up, pretty, put it back down, create that puff of sand, get that attention, because sometimes that works, like I'll do it right there, and then let it puff the sand. Sometimes that gets them to go, and sometimes it doesn't. I'm doing something a little bit different, folks. I'm, uh, I'm going to switch when the minor feeding time comes up, but we just lost a hogfish to a, to a uh, shark. And uh, I'm, I'm using an eel lure. And I'm, I'm throwing it across the ledge and coming back with it and just kind of jigging it like my old bass fishing days. <laughs> and they're hitting the snot out of it. It's almost like I'm deep water bass fishing. I'm just jigging it and they're just thumping the snot out of it. It's just something a little bit different. Uh oh. No, bottom? So, this is what I'm using, folks just a plastic eel. I'm just putting it on the huggy jig. It doesn't have a barb or anything, so it might be easy for them to get this off, but I've got about 500 of them because I ordered them a long time ago and did nothing with them. And I've always thought, man, we should be able to catch something on these things. But we're usually using live bait and it's hard to get away from live bait. But this is fun. I'm gonna catch a big, big red grouper like this. Mark my words. Is 
this one is your tremors. Really? Yeah, you got two of them now. Cloudy eyes. Folks, I dropped down the mangrove. Look at the size of that mangrove. It wasn't down that far. No? Ooh. Uh uh. Because I stopped the drop when I seen this one bounce. Huh. Every inch you can gain, folks, you're better off getting them off the bottom. This was on a quarter ounce. Stewie jig. That might be a keeper red. Yeah. Look at all the stuff he's spitting. Yeah. That one's been eating the ones that you dropped. Wow. Mm. Getting short by the second. But what I did, uh, folks, I took our, our chum dropper and I sent a bunch of chum down there to kind of get it right in this area. He's not going to make it, but anyway. Um, uh, so what I did is I dropped the chum dropper and got it down right next to the boat, released the chum right there so at least it's down on the bottom right there and as you can see on the screen there's a ton of fish, we're catching mangroves, we're catching hogfish, we're catching gag grouper, red grouper, just in that three sequence there red grouper gag grouper and hogfish so if you want to be able to chum where the boat is because if we're in 77 feet of water so if we're chumming up top and that tide's taking it away we're really not chumming where we're fishing we're chumming away from where we're fishing so if you use the chum dropper get it down isolate it get the bait right on the bottom and those fish will come right there I can start recording Oh, oh, the, the camera, <laughs> the, camera jinx. the camera jinx is on you. Now here I am trying to get cameras rolling. Uh-oh, Tony. Oh, Tony got a bite. Uh-oh, Tony. Tony Chuck. Camera's on. Big old gag. What the? Whose line does he have? I assume it's yours. Got to be that yeah. one. I don't know why it would be so far forward. Because you got nine rods. <laughs> 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 But yeah, all I'm using is this uh, quarter ounce Stewie jig with a circle hook, four ounce circle hook, letting it down nice and slow, trying to get those snapper that are up above. Because as you can see on the screen, they're absolutely loaded in here with a ton of bait. And then we got two stooges over there. <laughs> oh, that's not right. <laughs> There's line everywhere, Chad. What are you doing over there? Knitting a sweater. <laughs> All I'm doing is taking the dead, dead white bait. I'll hook mine right on the top of the top of the back most of the time. Get the meaty part because they get mushy when they bit sit for a little bit. And for right now, the tide is actually going out this way, so I'm going to pitch it up in front and let it come down because it's so light. So I'll pitch it up front. So that lets me know that I'm about uh, about 20 feet, 25 feet. So I put that into my measurements when I'm counting it down. So there's uh, 30, 33 feet, and then another eight feet, 41, and then so on until I get about to 50. So there's a lesson for y'all. When you're in high school, you say I'm never well, not not that kind of math. <laughs> well, that kind of math, yes, but algebra, no. That's still algebra. Or calculus. How many X's does it take if you're 
pulling out six feet of line at one time. <laughs> no, Chad, no. That's not how algebra works. Hey, when you start taking into consideration the tide and currents, yeah, uh -huh. you some algebra. That might even be some calculus. If anybody has a job that deals with algebra or calculus, please comment in the link or in I the do. comments below. I do. I use all time. What do you use? I use math all the time. No, I know you use math, but when are you using <laughs> hydraulics? Hydraulics. 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 Not math. It's still math. <laughs> Let's see what we got here. Yeah, we're going to have to do some math. Folks, we're kind of delirious because it's been a slow bite today. It finally started kind of turning on a little bit. We had to move around a lot. We were on some spots that we 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 had one spot where we lost some nice gags. There you go, Todd. I lost it. <laughs> oh my god, the hook just pulled. Come on, man. You can You said you might get a toilet bowl in there. Tony don't even uh, suck Once that again, bad. I don't get the thing. toilet bowl. Toilet bowl. I'm surprised you get that much Yeah. I know they're eating it, but. No. I don't think I've put a fish in the box. You might want to just take one of them dead white baits and throw it in there. A little seed money. You're not right, Chad. Here we go again. It's not you, it's me. It's not you, it's me. I'm in your head. No, actually you're not. No, I don't let you get into my head. Chad's adding a mess. <laughs> Jesus Christ. He's language, adding shrimp to the, ch to the chum dropper. But the tide seems to have picked up more. It's coming at us. Yeah, it's definitely coming at us. I won't be hiding when the table's laid out. Is that a dig at me? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm serious. One of y'all buttheads are going to start filming for me. Then we'll see who gets in a lot of fishing or not. People don't realize what goes into this. You have to sync cameras. You have to get cameras to sync to remote. You have to get cameras to work, period. Yeah, that's way too high. Got a digger! I think this is a big, big mango. Any comments, Tony? Y'all need to shut up. Do I need to be encouraging, not discouraging. Do I need to come over here with this? No, it's not. That's a That's giant a snapper. That's a mango. Yes, it is. Wow. <laughs> uh, I told you. It looks bigger than water, but it's still a snapper. Did you hear him? No, I, I thought it he was goes, your... It looks bigger in the water. I thought it was your PV, but that ain't going to be your PV. Something, look at the side. He's got the hip. <laughs> Tangled up in your own mind. Hey, 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 shut up. Come on, man. My line. I can get hung up there if I want. Right, Tom? Okay. Told you I had current coming back out. There you go. There you go. 
There you go. There you go. Ah! Oh! What is up with that? Finally get a fish on? That was a real one. I, could, I didn't even, I was just trying to make sure you had it good enough to have a good enough one. Doubled up! Again. Go ahead and get them. They should swallow it head first. Broke you off again. I think you did. So basically what I'm doing is I'm taking this, this is a quarter ounce, I'm taking this white bait, hooking it through the nostrils and sending them down. Live one or dead? Live. Live. From Ruskin, Florida. Another snapper. It would have been nice if we would have had a chum block too. Does he have a hog? Oh, he's chomping. He's, he's moving. It's, it looks like it. Yep. Yes. What it yep. is. He finally got one. Maybe. It might keep. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Woo! Oh, shrimp bro. Bobby. Look at that.